Hello, my name is Troy Johnson, and I'm the founder of the African American Literature Book Club, better known as AALBC.com. Our website was founded in 1997 and has grown to become the largest website uh, dedicated to books by or about people of African descent. Often, I'm um, contacted by authors and, and others who are interested in sharing information about their books or about events that they have coming up. and um, our platform is actually a perfect place to share that information. Often they want me to do it, typically they want me to do it on their behalf, and, and that's really uh, time consuming and, and not the most efficient way of getting it done. The best way of getting it done is by actually posting the information on our website yourself. Um, and that can be done very easily. If you go to any page on our website, you'll find that there are um, there's a link to our discussion forum. So if you click that link in the menu on our on our menu, you'll be taken to our discussion forum. There there are five major platforms on our five major forums. Uh, the oldest one um, that's been operating since 1998 is the African American Literature Forum. Uh, typically, we talk about books. Uh, we might review books. Uh, we might uh, talk about authors and things related to the publishing industry. Uh, the next one is the Race, Culture, and Economy uh, Forum, which is just about as old, and it's more or less of a catch-all where we talk about current events, we talk about things related to race and culture, obviously. Uh, the Poetry um, is where people share their poetry and, and solicit uh, critique from, critiques from other readers. Uh, here under the Post Your Press Release is just what it says is you can post your press releases there. And finally, we have a, a relatively new forum called Bloggers Helping Bloggers, and that's primarily for content providers who are interested in sharing information, uh, tips, and best practices to help attract readers um, and better run their blogs. So as I said, I off, I'm often uh, contacted. People will reach out to me uh, through email or social media interested in sharing information on our platform, here's how you can do it. So on, once you're on our discussion forum, you'll notice on the upper right hand side there's a place to sign up. So if you don't already have an account, you'll need to sign up. And by, So we're going to click the sign up button. You'll see here that you can sign up using uh, one of your social media credentials, or if you're not on social media, you can sign up create an account from scratch the old-fashioned way, which is perfectly fine. Um, I'm going to log in, because I already have an account, I'm going to log in with, with my Facebook credentials. And, and you'll see my Facebook avatar is up on the upper right-hand side, and I can see a bit more information about the forums. So let's take a look at a recent request. On Facebook, uh, an author wanted to share information about a workshop they were conducting on, on writing uh, that next bestseller. So let's take a look at this event. Now, she recognized that it, it was a good idea to post it, but she was having difficulty, hence this video. So if we, we click, and let's see what we can learn about the event. All right, so uh, we have some basic information. We have a graphic. Uh, the really good thing about um, our discussion forums is that you can really post rich content. You can post videos, images, all types of hyperlinks, uh, but we'll demonstrate that. So I guess the best place to put that uh, writing, that writer's workshop would be under um, African American literature. So we're going to click that forum, and we're going to go over here and click Start New Topic. So we click Start New Topic. Here we're we're bringing we're brought it to a uh, a form. Now, if you're familiar with HTML, you can click source and key in HTML. If you're used to just using a word processor, you can use this in word processor mode. And and as you might expect, you can do a copy and paste. So let's start off by just copying and pasting um, the information that's on this page, and we'll stop here. So we'll copy that. Let's go to the form and we'll paste it. Now, in most cases, the formatting is preserved without any issues. But of course, you can tweak it if you wanted to, say, remove some white space. Um, 
it's entirely up to you. And again, if you want to drop into HTML mode, you can modify the code directly. All right, so I noticed there was a banner on the page. So let's let's pull that in as well. All right, now this is a pretty big image. I would typically edit this with a, a text uh, image editor to make it smaller, but we'll take it as it is. So I'm going to save this image to my desktop. Uh, let's stick it here. And we're going to import it. And you import the images. We can drag or drop. I'm just going to browse to the image. And where is that puppy? Sometimes it takes my browser a minute to catch up. There it goes. All right, so the image is there. We want to put it right at the top. And we're going to click the little plus button to insert the image in the post. And that looks good. Okay, let's take let's do one last thing and that's let's let's hyperlink um this this text right here to go to the website. So we'll um come here, let's grab this hyperlink or the URL, highlight the text we want to hyperlink, click the link button, and paste that right there. And now this text will send us to the uh, website uh, if it's clicked. And now finally, we need a title for our post. Writing workshop coming to Ohio, March 2016. Now, not, now that's not the most compelling uh, title in the world, but uh, this, this video is primarily for demonstration purposes. Um, so we got all the required information, so let's just submit this topic. And now we have uh, the topic on the website. And like all of the pages on AOBC.com, this page is, is optimized for mobile. So the images will shrink and compress and will be per perfectly legible on a mobile device. All right. I look forward to you all sharing information about your books and events on the website in the near future. Thanks for watching.